thank you for clicking on this video. Enjoy! You want it to be a more pleasant experience for others. I mean, fair. In your defense, it did really get chaotic in your stream sometimes. <laughs> Can I not just go peacefully, please? <clears throat> What's the big idea putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away? Do you get some sort of amusement stomping, stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? You could never make it pleasant in your streams. Oh my god. How could we not make it pleasant in your streams, Alex? Oh, rendering a cave impossible to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. <laughs> well, this just goes to show that even when we wardens don't always see to eye to eye, I assume it shows lights for the sake of the Pokemon that cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts have put my efforts to waste. If you think, if you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're solely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed? Alex, we want you to yell at us. That's the difference. Go, Skunk Tank. Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. Alright. I don't actually know if we're high, high level enough. 40? Okay, we should be fine. We should be fine. Um, effective, not very effective. effective. Sorry, don't worry. It's... I hate all of you. We love you, though. Doesn't that count for something? Alex wants another wholesome tomorrow. Agreed. Agreed. Sense it. Yes. Get out of here. Oh, he only had the one, too. Right, get out of here, then. Don't need you. Listen here. Neither I nor Skunk Tank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skunk Tank time to recover. There is no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance, if you think about it. Keep your guard up, we'll be back. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Ward and Melly's intentions, but for now, let us press on. Excuse me. <clears throat> This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, there you go, Ingo! Volo, was it? What's the matter, sir? I want to ask you about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift, is to, the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you might be better to pose your questions to Nerapi, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed, while well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo, how about you then? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Interesting. You see, personally I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. That makes sense. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that this space... Time Rift also appeared in Isui in the, pa in the distant past. That's why you already had a name for it, as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the Rift? 
my guess is that it is all Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why has the Space Time Rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would Nerapi have fallen through, through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And, while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Lurk, sounds good, Unicorn. Thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate it. How are you doing? Oh, I am a mere admirer of ruins and a little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Nappy. Until next time, then. Once we're through here, it will be just a little bit further. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Rude. No worries, Unicorn. Feel better, please. That's literally what I want for everyone, is that they feel good. They feel okay. And if you're not feeling good, just rest up. There's nothing wrong with that. Who's here? Okay, I don't care about you. I want you, though. <clears throat> Yeah, everything is good here, Unicorn. Just enjoying some Arceus. You would never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes? But with Sneezer as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret, some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such thing in Isui, surely. Yet, I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Just who was I before I came to Isui? If you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog this memory loss? Would you honor me with a battle? Sure. All aboard then. Machoke, prepare for departure. Alright, let's just let us battle uh, Ingo. Right, I didn't heal. It's fine, right? Well, either way, Typhlosion is weak to Machoke, so. Never mind, not very effective, apparently. Alright, I'll take it. I shall take it. That's one out of three done. Bliscor? Never heard of you. That one was super effective. Alright. Um. Duclops, I guess. <clears throat> Between Duclops and Dan. <clears throat> and Dan, I should be fine, I think. Um. Effective. Not very effective. effective. Alright, we'll do Shadow Ball. Faster than my own Pokemon, anyways, is what I'm noticing here. Uh, of course, he's up to it, so he's missed. Oh god, okay. Duplops is dead, too. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. And Dan is lower level, so I actually don't know if I got this anymore, actually. Effective, effective. Everything's just effective, not necessarily. Strong. Alright. I think this was our strongest move, so we'll do that. With strong style. There we go. That should hopefully kill. Oh, it didn't kill. Shit. That's not good. 
Dan is a tank, though. Holy crap. This regular. Never doubt Dan. Yeah, no, I don't doubt Dan, but. Oh, and then Tango's gonna be easy ish. Hopefully. Because I know this is super effective, so. Three. Okay. If he had anything other than a Tangela, maybe we would have uh, lost a little bit easier. But since he had a Tangela, that was fine. <clears throat> Bravo. Excellent. Your talent has brought you to the distant to the destination called Victory. Now allow me to call Sneasler. Catsloth? I don't know. Allow me to introduce you. This keen clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. I was wondering when you were finally going to get this. Here, apparently. Would you be so kind as to play your flute for her to hear? Sneezner opened her heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Received the toxic plate from Sneezler. This will probably allow us to climb onto the walls. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Please proceed up the cliffs with Sne Sneezner's aid and quell the lord up on the mountain. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melly. Well now then, all aboard! Can now call Sneeze with a scale and descend sheer cliffs and rock faces. Two. Didn't even heal my Pokemon. Rude. I like that I'm just kind of in the basket. Can just barely see my eyes and that's about it. <laughs> I find it funny anyways. I climbed the tree by accident. Whoops. of Death Stranding. I don't think I've played Death Stranding. Uh, I have two. There we go. Then I need to heal him. But yeah, Dan is a tank. Like, oh my god. The last game by Kojima. Got it. So hopefully I can finish this section of the story today and not get stuck like I did last time and just directly be able to grind five star offline so you guys don't have to sit on a uh, sit on it while I do it. That's why we liked him, he had a lot of HP. I tend to like the tank Pokemons, to be honest. Like, Dan does a lot of damage, to be honest. Even though he's a tank. Hello, Millie. <clears throat> Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know, I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, 
but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping where you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electro Seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, Skunk Tank. Give them another whiff of your silent deadliness. Call you a few swear words, actually, Millie. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, and you send out as all your Pokemon now? Seriously, you sent out three Pokemon against me? How is this fair? Rude? Well, I'm pretty sure the Skunk is the highest level one, so we'll try to get rid of Skunk first. Oh my god, I didn't do anything. Okay. You think the other ones are wild? Oh, maybe. Maybe. No effect, not very effective. Okay, so mystical fire seems to one effective. Hopefully this kills you. Oh my god, missed it by a smidge, really? Heals a hundred. No, I think I just gotta. I think I just gotta kill it right now, and hopefully the other two don't kill me. I think we just gotta go for it. <clears throat> Get out of here. Nope, you had to use bite. All right, but they're much lower levels, so I should be fine now. Uh, let's send in Mime Jr., I guess. <laughs> Hypnosis. Okay, okay, good. I avoided the attack. Uh, confusion. Super effective, really. Can I give you some strategy advice? For sure. I haven't played Pokemon in a very long time now, so I'm just kind of brute forcing myself through a lot of these, to be honest. Of course. <laughs> level 22 beat it, level 32. Alright, whatever. I think it's gonna be my hardest hitting. I've always been the kind of person to just brute force myself through these games. Like, they're fun, but I, I kind of just like, eh, let's just do it. <laughs> let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. No, there's not. I just lacked, uh, time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Ah, oh, could this be why Adaman is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? My word, the Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh truly are never-ending founts of wisdom. Remember, if you set for the fast attack and it shows you attacking twice before the opponent? Uh, it does. It is uh, at a lower, um, lower damage. Then you... Oh, smart actually. That's actually really smart to do it that way, yeah. I hadn't thought about that, Nile. That's smart. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I've completely forgotten what the Electrode likes. 
What's the matter, upset? Too bad anger doesn't make bombs. Melly's really giving you the runaround, isn't he? I guess it's my fault for not telling- oh. Viper! How are you doing? This tool- this guy is a tool- tool? He really is, though. Melly's literally the worst. <laughs> Agreed. How did I shout you out so- I did nothing, I was just here. See, this is all I got right here, Viper. This is all I got. I got my two hands and my remote, and I didn't do anything. <laughs> Nervous magic. Exactly, I'm a fairy. I'm a fairy, Viper. <laughs> but yes, if you guys have not checked out Viper, please do so. <laughs> Viper's awesome. <laughs> Viper, you, me, and... Um... Kara, I have got to set up a date to uh, do some more rafting. We need to finish that. We're getting semi-close to the end. I think we had just reached Bubble City. No, we had done a, f a portion of uh, Bubble City. You could honestly use some soft, ra soft rafting. Then send a, a message to me and Kyra on Discord and we can set up a date. Can't promise I'll be entertained. I mean, that's fine. I just need you there, obviously. Uh, I know a little bit of, of the schedule that Kara has available for this month. So give me a sec. Uh, no, not this chat, this one. Um... All right, so the 8th or 31st a Viper. Works for me and Kyra. For this month. Why is... What? Why does Mel... Wait, what? Mel doesn't ruin everything. What? What did I miss? Huh? No. Mel hates chaos. Who doesn't like ca what? Both are good for you. All right, just uh, like I said, reach out to Kyra and I on Discord. We have a voice chat, uh, not a voice chat, but some kind of uh. Yeah, there you go. Reach out there, and Kyra will answer when she 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 has the time. You love con I'm easy too easy to confuse, and I'm gullible as fuck, Mel. <laughs> Scott discovered how gullible. I was the other day. <laughs> you didn't just get me, got the um, uh, Tiger Jess as well, but. <sighs> There's a clip somewhere. No, you, Viper, no, you! I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the. Adam, man! What now? I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to. Th tell this little noodle what she needs to find, just like that? Lest we all forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied Pokemon, uh, Lord? Don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Melly's bad noodle, Nerf's is good noodle. No, no, I'm worse than Melly. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't off, write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Nerapi here. This is bigger than what, te than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell her that she needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. Now, it's time to make some bombs. So lend me a hand, both of you. Melly drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> no one is worse than Melly, trust me. <laughs> Oh no. 
fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Melly shirked his duties as warden. I hope you make your precious bombs. There, I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electrode. But don't, under don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Uh, you know what? Yeah. So even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode? Oh, I, I guess... Was it typing C all of a sudden? Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and commenting down below.